sorry, love. Big day today. Is it? I've got a friend seriously ill in hospital and a boyfriend... ex-boyfriend who hates my guts. Look, it's terrible what's happened to Elaine, but there's nothing you can do about it. And you've had rows with Danny in the past. We split up, Grandad. It's made me think maybe I shouldn't go rushing into things. University is a wonderful opportunity. I know, but I could still delay a year and it would just give me time to sort things out. You could be in the same situation 12 months down the line. What if I'm making a big mistake? Ah, you mustn't be frightened of life, Holly. It's the things I've not done that I've regretted the most. I just want to make sure that I've explored all my options. You have. Now, are you sure I can't help you with this packing? Keep you from your GGs. Is she okay? Well, her condition hasn't changed, love. But she is going to wake up. That's what we're hoping. Right. I just want to speak to her. Not a good idea. Elaine is unconscious, Ronnie, but it doesn't mean she can't understand what's being said. She needs rest. Hearing Robert's voice might help bring her round. You go in, love. I'm really sorry, Elaine. You've had an accident. Everything's going to be all right. Chloe! There's no one of that near me, eh? Double glazing. No, we definitely don't need any. Well done. I don't want two sets of windows, do we? That's what double glazing is, Sam. Broke up phone weren't very nice. Not like Mr Hope. Mr Hope? Eddie Hope. Bob's brother. He came round while you were at Granny Clegg's. He's fitting our new windies. As if I haven't got enough to worry about with Kane and Debbie. Did you sign anything? Yeah, I, I had to, to, to get special discount. I say somewhere. Never mind, how much? Um, he said that over the years we'll make huge savings on our eating bills. So it'll cost next to nothing. Wait till I catch up with Eddie up. I'll give him next to nothing. Hey? I'll knock. Mind if you step in your office? Watch it. Co rack, six o'clock. Oh, potty plants to your left. <laughs> hey, busy, busy, busy. Uh, client confidentiality, Bob. Always prided myself on it. I forget they saw Edna's name on there, didn't they? <laughs> Hello, Wonderland Windows. You'll wonder how you ever got by without us. Oh, hi, Gav. Gary. He said he didn't want the windows. Oh, no, no, that's uh, Dingle, not Dangle. D-I-N-G-L-E. I'm sure that's where the confusion lies. The outstanding deposits are in hand. The whole lot by Thursday? That's three grand. Gary, go! I really appreciate this, Diane. Thank you. I've got church errands first, and then... Your big date. <laughs> Your first one, so no funny business. There's not much chance of that go-karting. Yeah, ten out of ten for originality, Rash. It'll give us something to talk about. And you'll bring her back here afterwards. Would I deny you two the opportunity of giving her the third degree? Who wants to be a millionaire? I do. How flashy flunkies everywhere. <laughs> Come on, Danny, come on, chuck it! I'm hungry. Mm. Have one of these, then. Shouldn't you be in bed? You've been up all night. What, I miss the first day of the rest of my pampered, privileged life? Yeah, I better get on with the first day of the rest of my dead-end life. Hey, 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 what are you talking about? Well, this is the one with future, not me. A woman is like a fine antique, Danny. You never really possess it. You're merely a custodian until it passes on to someone else. Sometimes you don't know what it's worth until you let it go. So, you took control of the situation and relinquished it. It could have been the stupidest thing I've ever done. You wear a hole in that floor. So what did the police have to say? They just asked me what happened. I took a statement. Mm, but they left the question alone. Cars are right off and they want to know why. 
Well, I told them it was an accident. Yeah, but you heard about them making an example of young drivers. It's not as if Elaine's really hurt anybody, apart from herself. She's done nothing wrong. I'll make sure the police know that. How are you doing, son? <coughs> Victoria sends her love. I had a job convincing her she couldn't come. You look shattered. Yeah, you should go home. Get some sleep. I'm not going anywhere until I know she's going to be OK. She will be. Listen, I know because we've got this telepathic twin thing going on. <laughs> now, right now, she's thinking what you're all thinking. That I should show up. <laughs> Right, so you're right, man in the fort. Eddie! Oh, no problem. What can I get you? Uh, how about something I don't want and can't afford? Laminated glass with UPVC fittings and a coloured finish. Popular choice. So you're Eddie Hope. I am Lisa Dingle. Is there a problem? He's only tried to flog our Sam a load of overpriced double glazing. I beg to differ. We provide excellent value at competitive prices. Must have been like taking candy from a baby. I haven't taken anything yet. Mr Dingle's deposit is outstanding. Oh, really? Uh, can I see a copy of the agreement? Oh, you won't let a sale go, no wonder you get results. <laughs> As you see, 10% is now due. Oh, I see. You can't do that. I just have. Is there a problem? Not at all, no. Eddie's order book is bulging. One lost sale won't make much difference, will it? The customer is always right. It's a pleasure doing business with you. How is she? When's she going to wake up? Well, her fracture's sealed and the risk of infection's dropped, but her lack of consciousness is a concern. And what's that mean? Well, her injuries may have caused bruising to the brain. Brain damage? Um, some injury to the brain is a possibility. But I can't make a proper assessment until Elaine comes round. And unfortunately, I, I can't say when that might be. Well, you can always play safe and back the favourites. I always go for the underdogs. Taking a risk, that's the point, isn't it? The point of gambling is to part a fool and his money. Uh, Rodney Blackstock won five grand on a long shot. Next thing, he's a millionaire. No, I'm going for Lady Trial. 21, she'll put in the money. I might have a flutter myself. Yes, that's asked me to put a bet on for him. <laughs> the man's on a plane halfway to Australia and all he cares about is betting. It's an addiction. Three cheese, please. i put this on Lady Triumph for you. There's 50 quid there. If it wins, I'm in the money, right? Yeah, over a thousand quid, but I can't see that happening. Just put the bet on. There's a vanilla slice in it for you. Oh, OK. But you haven't eaten. I should get back. Look, you escaped unhurt. It's only natural that you feel responsible for Elaine. But none of this is your fault. It should be me in intensive care, not her. I'm very proud of the way you're handling things, son. But you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You don't even know the half of it, Dad. What's the matter, Robert? I just... I just want everything to be OK. Royal Ransom's in second, Lady Triumph close behind, with Red Walshy in the lead. It's these three eating up the turf as they enter the final furlong. It's neck and neck as they approach the finish. Come on, Lady Triumph! Come on, you beauty! At the line, and Red Walshy's under pressure, trying to hold on to the lead but beginning to lose ground. You made a With right Royal Ransom and Lady that. Triumph overtaking on the inside. It's between these two. They're so going to be hard to separate, but... Gonna do it. At the finish, it's Lady Triumph by a nose yes. with Royal Ransom second and Red Walshy in third. <laughs> Do you know, Seth Bizarre has missed this. As far as I understand proceedings, uh, his horse lost. <laughs> Australia should improve his health and his bank balance. It's not about winning or losing. It's about having fun along the way. Thanks, Len. Great tip. Any more where that came from? Hey, winning force, two o'clock. Put my winnings on it. Well, Oliver? By how much did he win? That's between a man and his book, hey? That's over a thousand quid at ten to one. Are you sure? Never sure. Let's reconvene upstairs later. <sighs> yeah, okay. You're gonna have to tell someone the truth before Elaine does. 
It might not come to that. There's a chance you won't recover. You are unbelievable. Do you know that? Look, if I give myself up now, the police will have a field day. And then there's Ronnie. Do you want him to tear me limb from limb? No. I am worried about her. Oh, hospitals give me the creeps. I suppose you'll be used to them now, won't you? Yeah. Except usually it's me everybody's worried about. I thought I'd be the first to go. Oh, you probably will be. Mm. I mean, Elaine's not going to die, is she? Not just now, anyway. Gives you a chance to get in there. Can you get us Dr. Conchannon, love? Cheers. She, she's not. Elaine. Oh, it's all right. She's waking up. Come on in. Oh, oh thank yeah. God. Oh, that's great, isn't it? I go and we get up now. No, love, you can't. Oh. It's okay, love. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm going in. Robert! Elaine's just woken up. It's best not to have too many people with her. Let her family spend some time with her first. I'm a boyfriend. I've got a right to be in there. That's enough. You'll get to see her later. I know it's hard for you. Come here, boy. Come here. Hmm? You'll look after Danny for me, won't you? Come on, you can take me for a walk. How are you feeling, love? I'm not sure. Funny. But OK, funny. I think so. You gave us a fright. You were in the car with Robert. You came off the road. You're not in any trouble, though. We're just glad you're still here. Well, where's Rob? He's fine. He's outside at the moment. Would you like to see him? Mm. Ronnie. Oh, Elaine, I was so worried. I don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to you. <laughs> She's going to be all right. She wants to see you. So, where have you been hiding? I thought I'd keep a low profile. Well, now is not the time to turn your back on Ollie. I knew you'd take her aside. He's not like that. Isn't it? Look, you and me, we get on, don't we? I mean, like a member of family now. Look, I know this is hard for you, but it is for Ollie. Yeah, except she's the one with everything to look forward to. I'm the one who's left behind. All oh, right, so you're going to punish her, are you? You're going to let her go without saying goodbye? So you want me to wave Ollie off with a smile just to make you both feel better? I can't pretend everything's all right, because it's not. Nice place, this. Reminds me of a pub mark and me used to go to. I must say, I do like it here. Good night, we got engaged. We had a wonderful meal. But Mark conveniently forgot his wallet. No. Oh. Should have known then, he were as tight as two coats of paint. As well as being a two-time and good-for-nothing. I'm not going on, am I? No, 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 not at all. Uh, why don't you sit down and I'll get the drinks? Before you ask, Gabby's asleep in the back room, good as gold. Now, tell me about you know who. She's very attractive. Looks can be deceptive. What's wrong? She can't be that bad, surely. I can't get rid of her. She's obsessed. She's only known you five minutes. Not with me, with her ex. Have a drink with us. I need rescuing. I've got a bar and a baby to keep an eye on, remember? Yeah. Two glasses of white wine. I'll bring them over. They seem very wrapped up in each other. That look on Ashley's face, it's not devotion, it's desperation. I can't believe I've been in a car crash. And there's me thinking you'd had your tonsils out. <laughs> I'm glad you're OK. Well, you got the worst of it. I can't remember. You must remember something. We were on a picnic. Fully catered. Two bags of prawn cocktail crisps. And a few cans of lemonade thrown in. And the rest is a blank, except, did we have an argument? It was something or nothing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> if I go through what happened leading up to the accident, it might help Elaine remember. Good idea. It's probably best if I do it on my own. I don't see why. Well, some of it's private. Oh, I don't mind. Elaine might. Dad, 
Come on. Usual for me, please, Diane. And a pint of common sense for this one. Don't worry, or dusk. You look like you've lost the will to live. I have. Well, just get rid of her. Remember an appointment or something. I'm not good at being economical with the truth. I could do with some help. OK. Leave it with me. I can't believe you're up to your old tricks again. I can't believe you're flaunting one of your floozies right under my nose here in my own pub. What's going on? Oh, well, he meets women at dating agencies, yet he forgets to tell them that he's engaged to me. You said you were divorced with a kid. You didn't mention a fiancé. You didn't ask. My ex were a womanizer just like you. But at least he had the decency to be ashamed of himself. Oh, shame. He doesn't know the meaning of the word. I only went out with you because you were a vicar. I didn't mind that you were boring and pushing 50. I thought at least you wouldn't do dirty on me. How wrong can you be? 50? She didn't say 50, did she? Actually. <laughs> We were coming back past Andy's. Yeah. I, I don't usually go that way. Well, it's the quickest. I know, but... Look, you took your eyes off the road. It's easily done. And hit a tree just like that. You skidded. You slammed the brakes on and, and the steering locked. You had no chance. If I asked you something, will you tell me the truth? Yeah. Was I speeding? No. I must have been going fast to end up like this. It just doesn't make any sense. And they're off, jostling for position. They're finding their stride, and oh my goodness, there's a horse down on the first fence. It looks like the joint favourite flying picket, but it's hard to tell with horses flying wearing picket, similar colours here today. No, flying picket's still in the running. I can confirm it's winning force who's lost his footing, but horse and jockey appear unhurt as the field approach the second. Oh, well... You win some, you lose some. You don't understand. Well, I did have misgivings about putting all your winnings on another race. You didn't place my bet? No. I kept the original stake, 50 quid. What you never had, you never miss. I still can't believe you did that. Well, I heard a cry for help and I just improvised. And it worked. I'm sorry about your shirt. You've ruined his reputation, never mind his shirt. Mm. What more can I do to make amends? I could do with some help at the tea dance tomorrow afternoon. Oh, I suppose I've besmirched your good character. It's only right that I'm punished. One more thing. I mean, 50 was way off the mark, but uh, she also said I was boring. I'm not, am I? You've just asked Louise to a pensioner's knees up. Do you really want an answer? Why can't I remember? Oi! What are you doing upsetting her? I'm not. I just want to know what happened. I remember the picnic. I remember the car. Um, and I must have been driving like an idiot. I, I nearly killed myself. I'm Rob. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm fine. It's OK. <laughs> we'll both be OK. I think Elaine could do with some rest. Look, I'll be back. I promise. What's all that about? Nothing I couldn't handle. He's not coming, love. I thought what we had was worth more than this. Yeah, well, it's his loss. You've got to think about yourself now. I hope your practice won't preach. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This should keep your strength up for all the partying you'll be doing. Thanks, <laughs> Pearl. You know, I'm so proud of you. My gosh, your mum would be too. <laughs> Granddad, are you trying to make me cry? I love you. I love you, Angel. Come on. You're a bit late, lad. You 
it coming. You should have heard the names I've been calling you. I never wanted to stop you from going to you and I just couldn't imagine life without you either. I got you this. It's the one you've always had your eye on. I can't afford you. I get the staff discount. It's a friendship ring. Is that what we are? Friends? Come with me, Danny. Which is your adventure, not mine. And I want you to enjoy every last single minute of it. You can do that for me. Speak to soon, yeah? She's been upset. She can't remember the accident. Well, it's not uncommon. She may be tired and confused for some time. But she will be able to remember eventually. We just don't know. But there is a chance. What's important is that there should be no long-term damage. So I think she was driving, does she? She thinks whatever I tell her to think. So that's you off the hook? Elaine's all right. I'm all right. And no one knows a thing. I'm in the clear.